maps, uh, surveys, databases, spreadsheets, concordances if you're a linguist, grammar, dictionary, audio and video, uh, text, numbers. All of these forms can be considered data. I agree with you on this very comprehensive and inclusive definition of data. And we are here to talk about open humanities data. This is not a new concept. The humanities have, have produced and collected reusable data for centuries, way before the digital age. Um, I always like to mention Father Roberto Buza, the pioneer of digital humanities, because I had the, the opportunity to work on his Index Domesticus during my PhD. And this was a massive project that went on for several decades, from the second half of the last century to the end of the century. The idea was to collect all uh, texts written by Thomas Aquinas. So it was a massive enterprise. It was 11 million words, which is a considerable amount, even for today's standard. This project is considered the first digital humanities project. Started people collecting data in punched cards, and then magnetic tapes, and then CD-ROM, and now Index Domesticus. It's a great example of a data set, a resource produced in the humanities, and certainly not the first and certainly not the last. And so what is different now is that it's increasingly easier to share data, store data, and collect data. So the question becomes how to best manage data, how to make sure it's properly stored and the work that goes in it properly credited. So some myths about data. Some people may think data have to be big, uh, but that's not the case. I, as a, again, an example from linguistics, uh, Swadesh list, it's a famous list of words created by Swadesh 20th century. And it's not very long, but it's been incre incredibly useful for generations of linguists. A lot of the examples I, I've given you are for text-based data, but that's definitely not a requirement. And also, sometimes you think of data, think of a database, but that's yeah, not needed. The data doesn't have to be in a database. It doesn't even have to be complex uh, or automatically generated. So an analysis in a spreadsheet or in a Word document potentially account as data. 